Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with all of you my predictions for WWE Backlash. What do I think is going to happen? Who do I think will win their matches? Watch my prediction video all the way through, and you will see. All right, to start off, we got the prize fighter, the new face of America, the now two-time United States champion, Kevin Owens, who will defend against the number one contender, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, Chris Jericho lost the United States championship back to Kevin Owens on SmackDown Live, but after winning back the U.S. championship, Kevin Owens just took out Chris Jericho and ended the assault by putting the chair into his throat and just shoving him right into the ring post. Because I understand Chris Jericho left because he is doing his tour thing with his band Fozzy. So I wish Chris Jericho the best in his band tour with Fozzy and hope to see him back in SmackDown Live soon to get his revenge on Kevin Owens. But in the meantime... We got AJ Styles, who became the number one contender. But Kevin Owens, the two-time U.S. champion, saying that he is going to retain. Now, I love the phenomenal AJ Styles. You, and you can see why on my previous episode of VSW's WWE Stars right now. So if you take the time after this video, go on to my channel. And look up the episode of VSW's WWE Stars where I talk about AJ Styles. And you will know why I love him so much. And I call him one of my favorite WWE superstars of all time. Now, do I respect AJ Styles? Yes. Do I love AJ Styles? Of course. Do I see him as United States Champion one day? I don't know. But in the WWE, anything can happen. But... As much as I love AJ Styles, I don't think I see him being the U.S. champion at Backlash. So, my prediction is, Kevin Owens is going to walk out of Backlash still, the two-time United States champion. Next up, we got the show-off Dolph Ziggler, who goes one-on-one -on -one with his new rival, Oh, 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 oh. Shinsuke Nakamura, former two-time NXT champion, best known for his time with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Excuse me for trying to sing Shinsuke Nakamura's theme song, but one, I love his song, and two, he is just an awesome wrestler, a great guy. So, sorry about that, but I love his theme song. Almost everybody does. So, what do you expect from me? But anyway, we got Shinsuke Nakamura, who was about to do an interview with Renee Young, only to be interrupted by the show-off Dolph Ziggler, who is, of course, now a villain. Now, I respect Dolph Ziggler. I'm not a huge fan, but I respect him. Because former United States champion, intercontinental champion, world champion, Money in the Bank winner. He has pretty much done it all. So, no denying his credibility and skill. No denying that. But, of all people, Dolph Ziggler decide to go after Shinsuke Nakamura? Really, Dolph? No wonder why your, name, your nickname is the show-off. So, of course, my prediction... Shinsuke Nakamura's very first match on SmackDown Live. For SmackDown Live, my prediction is Backlash, the winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Next, we got the Oos O's, who will defend the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships against Tyler Breeze and Fandango Breezango. Or the fashion police. The fashion police. Who gives away tickets. 
<laughs> Bree Zongo as Fashion Police. Now, is Bree Zongo one of my favorite tag teams on SmackDown Live? No. But they can be kind of entertaining and funny sometimes. But they did earn their number one contendership to have the right to face the Usos this Sunday at Backlash for the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles. Now, Tyler Breeze and Fandango, neither of them has ever won a championship in the WWE. None of them. So, in my opinion, if Breezango is to somehow, some way, beat the Usos and win their very first championships in the WWE, in my opinion, that would be one of the biggest and major upsets in WWE history because Tyler Breeze and Fandango were to win, like I said, their very first championship in the WWE. My prediction, do I see Breezango walking out of Backlash next Sunday as the new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions? No. So, of course, you know my prediction, Backlash, Usos. Oos! Oh, still the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Next, a six-women tag team match where Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the SmackDown Live Women's Champion Naomi will face off against Carmella, Natalia, and Tamina. You may know Charlotte Flair moved to SmackDown Live because of the Superstar Shakeup, where she got her shot at the SmackDown Live Women's Championship after beating Naomi to become the number one contender. So, I pretty much know how this is going to go. Because I saw what happened with this before, so I pretty much already know how this is going to go. So my prediction is that the winners will be the Wrestling Committee. Next, we got a match on the kickoff show where I've just learned on Facebook Live that the Perfect 10, Ty Dillinger, best known for his time from NXT, will go one-on-one -on -one with Aiden English, who just made the list last week on SmackDown Live when Chris Jericho is still the U.S. champion. Not much to say about this one, so of course, easy for me, my prediction, the winner, the perfect 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Ty Dillinger. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, it is the main event for Backlash, where... Randy Orton will defend the WWE Championship against the new number one contender, Gender Mahal. Now, it was pretty impressive, in my opinion, of Gender Mahal getting a push and becoming number one contender. Because, of course, Gender Mahal has never won a championship in the WWE. But of course, Jenna Mahal has confronted Randy Orton before, which led him to get RKO'd out of nowhere. Now, during the House of Horrors match at Payback, I pretty much had the prediction won where I predicted that Randy Orton was going to win. I had that prediction right until the Saint Boys and Jenna Mahal showed up and interfered. Because of Jenna Mahal, I got that prediction Wrong. Bray Wyatt won. So, of course, Randy Orton is going to get redemption. He is going to make Jinder Mahal pay for costing him his match at the House of Horrors. Backlash, my prediction. Randy Orton, RKO, out of nowhere. Still the WWE champion. Because if Jinder Mahal wins somehow, then it would be one of the biggest upsets in WWE history because Jinder Mahal would win his very first championship in the WWE. Do I see him as a WWE champion one day? I don't know, but anything can happen. Do I see him as the WWE champion at Backlash? No way, Jose. Randy Orton, still the WWE champion. 
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my predictions for WWE Backlash. Feel free to leave and share your thoughts and predictions down in the comments below. Let me know what you think is going to happen and who's going to win their matches. I am the leader of VSWville, and this has been another video and prediction. And tune in a day or two after the pay-per-view where I'll be sharing with you my reactions and what I think about what happened and who won their matches. But until then, and the next video, if you would like to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you would like to see one of my previous episodes and videos, like my VSW's WWE Stars episode where I talk about AJ Styles, click on the box up here. If you would like to see my reaction to uh, Charlotte Flair going to SmackDown Live thanks to the Superstar Shakeup, click on the box right up here on this side of your here screen. Until next time, I say God bless, take care, stay safe, and welcome to VSW Film. Fist bump. Push.